Today's topic is absence seizures. Epilepsy usually results in seizures. The nervous condition includes temporary changes in your brain's activity, which causes physical symptoms. Different types of epilepsy are diagnosed by the kinds of seizures they cause. An absence seizure, also known as a petite mal seizure, lasts for just 15 seconds or less. They might even be unnoticeable. However, they do cause a temporary loss of consciousness, which can prove to be quite dangerous. Causes Seizures are caused by an interruption or irregularity in the brain's activity. The brain uses electrical impulses to control the body through the vast network of nerves. Seizures interfere with these impulses, disrupting the electric flow. For absence seizures, the brain repeats electric signals. Along with that, absence seizures can also indicate irregularities in neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that help transmit neurotransmitters through the body. With that said, experts still do not know the root cause behind this particular kind of seizure. Most believe it to be a result of genetics. Flashing lights and hyperventilation may also set them off. Signs and Symptoms Absence seizures usually affect children of ages 5 to 9, but can also be found affecting adults. The short time they last for can lead to the following symptoms. Fluttering eyelids, smacking of the lips, staring off absently into space, sudden hand movements, pausing right in the middle of sentences, going suddenly still and motionless, suddenly leaning forwards or backward. Because of these symptoms, absence seizures are difficult to point out. Parents might think their children are fooling around or misbehaving and make light of these symptoms. One key factor to note with absence seizures is the fact that they occur randomly. They come without warning, which can be multiple times a day. A way to notice an absence seizure is by taking a look at the motionlessness of the person being affected. They will feel out of their body, not responsive to motion, touch, or sound. They are unaware of their surroundings, and a repetition of these symptoms indicates a neurological disorder. Diagnosis Medical professionals look at several factors while diagnosing epilepsy, such as overall health, medications, symptoms, pre-existing medical conditions, and brain activity imaging and scans. A doctor checks all of these before they settle on epilepsy being the cause of the seizures. Another method of diagnosis can be using bright lights or hyperventilation to cause a seizure. The brain waves are checked during the procedure to check activity. Treatment. There is plenty of anti-seizure medication that can be used against absence seizures. This includes drugs such as lamactyl or lamotrigin, zarentin or ethosuximide, stabzor, and depakine or valproic acid. The kind of medication you get depends on your medical history and lifestyle. For example, a pregnant woman will most likely be prescribed valproic acid medication. You might have to tweak your lifestyle to accommodate the condition. You might also have to wear a medical identification bracelet to let people know what you're dealing with. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.